how to use the new Shopify search and discovery app. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we will be taking a quick look at the new Shopify search and discovery application. And if you already have this, a lot of people don't even realize they already have this because if you have multiple different uh, core features of Shopify have now been taken over by this application, which is pretty surprising. So let's get into creating this app and launching it on our, uh, you know, sample website. So this is a sample store on Shopify and I will click on settings on the bottom left, click on apps and sales channels go into the Shopify app store and we will just search for Shopify search and discovery. You will find it over here. So this is the Shopify search and discovery application and I will just click on add application and it will be integrated onto my Shopify store. So let's just wait for the permissions and I will click on install application. And just like that, the application is now being installed. So I will just wait for this to be completed. And you guys can see this is the search and discovery application. You will see a lot of core features of Shopify directly embedded. We have completed the installation. So let's get into the features of this app. Now, what does this app really allow you to do and how is it so different from having a basic Shopify store? Let's say if I didn't have this and I did. Well, you guys can see in some of the key features that are listed, this basically allows customers a better search experience on your store. They can create synonym groups, product boosts, featured products, recommendations, analytics, as well as complementary products and filters to search in multiple different categories. For example, let's say I'm just looking for a pink dress, but all of a sudden I change my mind and I want to look at everything that is in the pink color on the store. So instead of me having to search each individual category, I could just do a search of pink and be able to see all the pink items. This is just a very simple and watered down version of a of the features that this can provide you with. So if you click on the search and discovery app and you click on filters over here, you have two types of filters that will be added pre-existingly. So you have a availability filter and a price filter. This is going to help customers into seeing products that are only in stock and finding a specific price range that they are comfortable with. So let's say I will click on add filter over here. And you can search for a product uh, source. So what is that going to be the source of that filter? For example, let's go with tags and I will name this filter color. And what I'm going to do is with this, I would add a colored tag. So the color of the product would be added in the tags of each product. And then when customers search for a specific color, they can just search for color and then it would filter out the colors via the tag filter that I added. Now you can add filters with multiple different sources and you can also add filters with other product options such as um, product variants and uh, metadata or you know meta fields that you add with your products. We do have detailed videos on meta fields because that can take a lot of time to set up. So do check those videos out if you don't know about meta fields yet. Now the next thing is search. Search is basically how customers view your Shopify store, how they are navigating or crawling on your Shopify store. So you have two basic options. You have choosing products to promote in your online store search results. Now, if you have a bestseller, if you have a top seller, you can choose it as to promote in your search terms. For example, when customers search for so I can add these specific terms and make sure that this specific product, even though any of the keywords that are applicable to this product are not uh, in these search terms. Uh, people would still be able to see the, this specific product. The reason for that is, let's say we have a very popular product and no one knows its name. Uh, this can happen with a lot of different, you know, complicated products. Uh, but people don't know exactly what they're searching for. They don't know exactly what kind of item they are looking for, but they have a very general idea. So all of those general ideas that people have, you want to be able to get people what they want from the search that they're doing. So for example, people are searching for organizer, people are searching for top handle, people might be searching for bag. And I want people to be able to see this product because uh, this is the type of product that I expect most people to buy. So depending on the search intent of your keyword terms, uh, this really depends on the search terms, obviously. 
for a different product let's say i have like a makeup product the search terms are going to look a lot different and the intent is going to look very different as well so for example you have a hot seller then the search terms are going to be uh for the hot seller best seller so on and so forth if you have a product that you're trying to promote that is not selling that well yet then you want to add new arrival, new bestseller, featured product, uh, discount sales, or or product items like that. So that is one way you can target your products. Next up, you have synonyms. Now, for example, I'm looking for bags, but I'm also looking for wallets. So you can create a synonym group that allows people to bundle up their searches. You can click on create synonym group over here, and you can include at least two synonyms, for example, bag purse shopper wallet men's wallet duffel so let's say all of these words would be pretty relevant to each other people that are looking for bags are going to be looking for purses wallets shoppers men's wallets duffel bags so on and so forth you can add a lot more as well you can add upwards of 50 altogether 50 synonyms and you can enter a synonym group title i'll just enter bags and you can just click on save over here. So if a person searches for uh, a bag on your site, not only are they going to be able to see the search results for a bag, but they would also be able to see the search results for a purse, shopper, wallet, duffel, and more. Now, this is going to make your search engine experience, the customer search engine experience, to be uh, very relevant. Now, after that, you have product recommendations, and a lot of people wonder, how does this differ from the rest of the filters or search? Well, product recommendations usually show up at the bottom, and with product recommendations, you can add complementary products to a specific product. For example, we have this purse over here. I'm going to go into my product section. I will click on add product. I will add a keychain over here, and I will just go into my products, add a price for this as well. So we have this little product as a keychain. Now, what I can do is I can go back into my uh, store, my search and discovery section in my recommendations. Now, with my recommendations, what I'm going to do is first off, I'm going to select the product, the basic product. And with this larger or more expensive product, let's say I want to offer a complimentary product. So I can just search for the keychain product that I just created and I can click on add. And this can be added as a complimentary product. Now, this is not obviously complimentary in the sense that people are going to get it for free. Obviously, they're going to pay it, pay for it, but it would be like a recommended thing. Like if you're buying the hand cream, then you should maybe also buy the foot cream, so on and so forth. And then you are also going to suggest some related alternatives. For example, if someone is looking to buy this purse, they might be interested in a similar purse. I can list that similar purse over here as well. And you can choose to make this auto-generated or you can also add your relevant recommendations by yourself as well. And once you click on save, this recommended product is going to show up at the bottom of my listing. So if I click on this, uh, if I take a look at the product page over here, Obviously, you will be able to see this keychain. I obviously haven't updated my store yet, so it's not showing right now because I haven't published my changes. But going back into our search and discovery, one of the last things is your settings. So you have your search results, predictive, out of stock products, choose what you want to order when your search results, including predictive search text. So this is just your basic theme settings. Now, after that, you just have your analytics. If you go back into search and discovery and you will be able to see the general performance of your Shopify store. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.